This 33-year-old is the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. He's one of the most powerful men in the Middle East, but is he a progressive reformer bringing a deeply conservative kingdom into the 21st century, or a brutal hardliner silencing dissenters? Mohammed bin Salman, or MBS, is at the center of a huge international controversy. Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi went missing in early October 2018, after entering a Saudi consulate in Istanbul. And the world's attention is directed squarely at Mohammed bin Salman and those connected to him. As of mid-October, Saudi Arabia has denied involvement in the case. MBS is no stranger to power. He's held significant roles in politics since 2007. Royalty runs in his blood. Saudi Arabia's royal family has a big family tree. But for now, we'll just focus on three of them. The late King Abdullah, the current King Salman, and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. King Abdullah served as King of Saudi Arabia from 2005 until he died in 2015. That's when his half-brother Salman bin Abdulaziz took over the throne. After governing Riyadh for nearly 50 years, he became King of Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, MBS was busy working for state bodies, and he eventually became Minister of Defense. Just after his father became king in 2015, Mohammed bin Salman was named head of the Crown Prince Court. And in June 2017, he was promoted to Crown Prince. Which brings us to today. Here's what he's done so far. Mohammed bin Salman may be most known for leading the kingdom's Game of Thrones-style royal purge. Back in November 2017, he locked up hundreds of wealthy Saudis in a luxury detention center in what he described as an anti-corruption campaign. Others saw it as a way for MBS to eliminate his potential rivals in a quest for power. But he's also been seen as one of the most socially progressive leaders in Saudi history. Over the summer of 2018, MBS granted Saudi women the right to drive. You can't talk about the Saudi economy without talking about oil. The country has made a fortune off of it, and while the highly anticipated Aramco IPO launch continues to hit bumps in the road, the Crown Prince is looking for ways to diversify its economy, making the nation less reliant on oil revenue. And then there's the threat of a nuclear Middle East. MBS recently said the kingdom would, quote, act quickly to secure a nuclear bomb if Iran developed one of its own. Mohammed bin Salman's rapid rise to power opened the door for him to visit with some of America's top leaders. In early 2018, MBS visited the U.S. to meet American CEOs and tour major tech companies. Some say MBS's reign as crown prince is the start of a transformation in Saudi Arabia. Others say he's a ruthless autocrat seeking to consolidate power within the kingdom. Either way, his influence in the region is undeniable. But his involvement in the potential death of Jamal Khashoggi is threatening his progressive image and jeopardizing Saudi Arabia's financial relationships throughout the world. A variety of media companies and leaders canceled their plans to attend the country's investment conference, often called Davos in the Desert. And there are growing calls for the U.S. to punish Saudi Arabia if the allegations are true. MBS has survived several scandals, but more than ever, Middle Easterners are asking, can the Crown Prince hold on to power? Just days before he visited the U.S. back in March 2018, he spoke with CBS 60 Minutes. When asked if anything could stop him from ruling, he responded, only death. 